Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Lunchtime's Brain Teaser. I'm Craig Stevens. Today, by the way, St George's Day, so uh, congratulations to the English, and no doubt tonight, the English will be celebrating like only the English can, by copying the Irish and going straight to the pub. Also, Shakespeare's birthday today, although, you know, congratulations, but don't pop round with a card, there's no point. In the studio, four contestants all hoping that by the end of today's show, they can be playing for £3,000. The big question is, which one will be getting there? We're going to find out as we play the game, but before we meet the first two contestants to play Brain teaser we're going to show you that puzzle at home that can get you the first puzzle of the day now normally we go 250 we've upped it 500 pounds that's what you're playing for and if you want to play this is how you do it have a look at the segments of the word now if you need to run off and get a pen and paper send someone else because you need to concentrate on the puzzle write the little segments of this puzzle down and then have a look at them then put them in the order you think they need to go just by unscrambling that word unjumble those segments put them the way you think the word makes a word up when you've got the word and if you're ready and you want to call me you're welcome to play right here on brain teaser if you make it through to us it's 09 no, double one three seven double five double five. Now, once connected, our computer randomly selects some callers to leave their details, and one of those callers, like I say, can talk to me live on the show and hopefully win that five hundred pound if you've unscrambled the word and come up with the one we're looking for. Cost you fifty pence every time you call, even if you're not selected to leave your details. You can always enter online. We're at five dot tv forward slash brain teaser. Remember, please ask permission if you're not paying the bill and do remember to dial carefully. OK, have a last look at the puzzle. We're going to remove it because it's time to meet the first two contestants to play brain teaser. Uh, first contestant on the show is Ian. Welcome, uh, Ian. Where are you from? I'm from Doncaster. And what do you do for a living, Ian? I'm a CCTV operator for South Yorkshire Police. Fantastic. So what, tell me some of the stuff you've seen, Ian. Oh, a lot of it's fighting and drinking and yeah, things like that. Of course it is. Do you kind of pass those tapes on to the police and then the other tapes go, oh, I'll just look at those at home if that's all right with you? Uh, you no, can lie if you want to. Of course not. No, no. <laughs> Ian, good luck with the show. You're okay. up against Mo. Welcome, Mo. Good afternoon. Mo, what do you do for a living? I manufacture perfumes for private customers. For private customers, for celebrities. Some of them. Some celebrities. Okay. Most expensive perfume that you've sold, Mo? We have manufactured for some for over £50,000. £50,000. Mm. I am a celebrity myself, as you know, maybe D-list, but uh, how much would that much cost me? Uh, for you, about five. five thousand pounds. pounds sure. It'll be very special for you. OK, Craig. well, good luck, Mo, and let's not talk business again. Uh, we're going to show you the first puzzle, and it's scramble. Now, you know how it works. You saw how the people at home play it. We've got a word. We've broken it down into segments. Unscramble the word. Hit your buzzer if you know it. You ready to play? Yep. Let's play scramble. Here's the first one for both of you. Mo. Bacteria. Bacteria is the word we were looking for. First five points going to you, Mo. Ian. Antibiotic. Here's the right answer, which, ironically enough, clears up Mo's bacteria. Here's the next one for you both. <laughs> no, disgraceful, like the last joke you heard before disgraceful. Here's the next word. Ian. Instruction. He's not quite right. It gets passed over to Mo. Instruction. He's not quite right. Instructor. That's what we wanted. You were very close in, but it wasn't quite the word we wanted. Ian. Momentum. Momentum is what we wanted. Well done. If you're both ready, let's take a look at the next one. Any ideas? No, let's have a look. If we unscramble the word, articulation is the word we wanted. Another word for both of you. Mo. Highlighter. Is the right word. Well done. Neck and neck. Ian. Endurance. Yeah, well done. Puts you in the lead with an extra five points. Mo. Unorthodox. Yeah, like the style of presenting I use on this show. Probably noticed. Mo. Tolerate. Is the right answer. Puts you just five points in the lead. Close buzzing between the two of you. Let's have a look at this. Ian. Extinction. Yeah, like most of the gags that I perform. Here's the next one for you both. Fingers by the buzzers. It's neck and neck again. Ian. Throw over. Is not quite right. Mo. Overthrow. There you go. <laughs> Take what Ian says and rearrange. Uh, let's have a look at the scores at the end of the round. What a good round it was as well. Ian's got 20 points. Mo's just in the lead and smelling the sweet smell of success with 25. <laughs>
OK, now while Mo and Ian have a little bit of a rest, because there's one more desounding round that they can play, we're going to get back to the puzzle that you can play, watching this show right now. And you saw how Mo and Ian do it, but what you have to do is exactly the same, but without slapping a buzzer and shouting at the telly. You need to just unscramble the word in the segments there, put them in the order they're supposed to be, then pick up the phone and call me. Remember, if you don't call me but you know the answer, you're going to kick yourself later on when someone else plays for £500. Here's the clue for you. According to the Beatles, this was when their troubles seemed so far away. According to the Beatles, this was when their troubles seemed so far away. Have a think about that. Now, there's one minute left. The clock is now on you. So, if you want to make your way to the phone and pick it up and call me, you can see the number right there at the bottom of the screen. It's 090 1137 5555. You can also enter online if you've got the right answer. You can log on and send to 5.tv forward slash brain teasers. Remember, it's just those segments of the word that need to be unscrambled. We've scrambled them, you unscramble them. It's exactly what our contestants have done in the studio, but this time you're doing it at home. Wish you the best of luck. Could be talking to you very soon, but it's time to see how they get on. Let's play the next round of Brain Teaser. OK, Ian and Mo, this is Crossfire. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to bring a crossword onto the screen for both of you, but, Mo, as you're in the lead with an extra five points, you're going to get to go first. So, we're going to bring on Crossfire and get our computer to pick Mo's first number. OK, it's gone for number nine for you, Mo. In which Indian city is the Taj Mahal found on the River Jumpnu? Agra. Agra is the right answer. Well done, Mo. Good start for you, and you've got the board to play. Five down, please. Number five. A peppermint sweet and an exclamation uh, from a Dickens Christmas character. Humbug. Humbug is right, yeah, bar humbug. Pick a number for me, please, Mo. Four, please. Number four. Castling is a move in this board game. Chess. Chess is right. OK, Mo, clearing up the board, where would you like to go next? Uh, eight across, please. OK, number eight for you. A ludicrous descent from the elevated to the commonplace in writing or speech. It gets passed over to you, Ian. The same question. A ludicrous descent from the elevated to the commonplace in writing or speech. Sorry, Craig. No, bathos is what we wanted. Now, Ian, you're back in control of the game. Chance for you to catch up now. Where would you like to go on the board? Uh, seven, please. Number seven. What's the surname of the present foreign secretary? Straw. Straw, yeah, Jack Straw. Born in 1946 and Blackburn Labour MP. Pick a number for me, please, Mickey Willian. Ten. Number ten. What is the name of the German composer who wrote The Flying Dutchman? Wagner. Wagner is right, Richard Wagner, well done. Back in control of picking up the points. Where's next, Ian? Uh, three, please. Number three. In legend, what is the name given to King Arthur's magic sword? Excalibur. Excalibur. OK, one, two or six is still on the board, Ian, and the scores are slowly getting closer. Which one would you like to go for? Six. Number six. What's the first name of the jazz, soul and blues singer who recorded nine albums in the early 60s and had a hit with My Baby Just Cares For Me? Ella. He's not right. Pass it over to you, Mo. What's the first name of the jazz, soul and blues singer who recorded nine albums in the early 60s and had a hit with My Baby Just Cares For Me? Nina. Nina is right answer. Nina Simone, well done. Oh, uh, just died uh, on Monday, aged 17. One or two, please, if you will, Mo. Two, please. Number two. What's the first name of the actress who plays Ross and Rachel's nanny in Friends? Alison. Is not right. Ian, the same question for you. What's the first name of the actress who plays Ross and Rachel's nanny in Friends? Melissa. Melissa is right. Was that a guess, Ian? <laughs> it was. You can lie to me. <laughs> Melissa George, who was uh, also Angel in Home and Away. So the final one, then. This could all be the decider. What's the surname of the England football player who scored the second goal against Turkey this month at the Stadium of Light? Beckham. Beckham. David Beckham, captain of England football team. Well, let's have a look at those scores. Mo, you got yourself 65 points. It's Ian that joins me in the semi-final with 70 points. <laughs> Very, very close round. Mo, I thank you very much for playing. If you can reduce the price of the perfume, hey, let's talk. Ian, I'll see you in the semi-final, so I wish you all the best of luck, but we're going to go to the phones right now and speak to someone else. Hi, who's on the line? Rose. How you doing, Rose? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. Welcome to Brain Teaser. Are you ready to play? I am. OK, you ready to win £500? I sure am. Oh, I thought you might be. Let's have a look at the puzzle. Here it is. 
So what we did was we just scrambled up a word for you and your job was to come up with the word we wanted. What is it, Rose? Yesterday. Is the right answer. Thank you. What are you going to do with £500? Oh, I'm sure I'll find something to do with it. I thought you might, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, enjoy the money, won't you? Thank you very much, I will. Thank you for playing. Well done. Thank you for calling. Well, we're going to do it all over again. Let's give you another £500. And if you want £500, let me show you how the puzzle works if you want to play. So, the top line is Pat. The second, second line is Spat, and it's the, and, which I just clearly did, as saying that. Uh, it's the third line down you need to come up with. Now, to help you, we've left you the letter A. What you need to do is take the letters from the line above, the S, the P, the A and the T, bring them down around that A and come up with the word we need. Now, if you want to play and you'd like to join me right here on the show, call the number. It's at the bottom of the screen. It's 090-113755. Now, as soon as you hear the recorded message, you're entered into the puzzle. Stay on the line, because you could be going through to stage two, where you'll be asked to leave your details. Now, if you're not, you can try again. You try as many times as you like. We can also be accessed online at 5.tv forward slash brain teaser. We're live, so you can play right here, right now on the show. It's 90 11 and you could be talking to me sometime in the next part of our show. We're going to the break, and when we come back, there'll be two more contestants. We'll meet them, and we'll see you after this. Welcome back to Brain Teaser. We are going to meet two more contestants in a moment's time. But before we find out how they do with Brain Teaser, how are you going to do with Brain Teaser? We're going to show you a puzzle that you can play from wherever you are watching the show right now. Now, the puzzle's worth £500. So if you want to play this puzzle, have a look at how it works. Now, have a look at the top line, Pat, P-A-T. Now, if you bring those letters down but add the letter S, you can make spat. So use those letters, bring them down, and just by adding the letter A, which we've given you, it's on the very end of the word. So if you're writing it down, make sure you leave that A there, won't you? Bring those letters down around it, come up with the word I need, and you can be joining me right here on Brain Teaser to play for £500. Here's the clue. The first clue I'm going to give you. Tortellini, cannelloni, and penne are all types of this. Have a think about that clue. Tortellini, cannelloni, and penne are all types of this. Have a think about that clue. You never know, it might be the only one you're going to get, so if you want to scribble that down as well, it's up to you. Have a little bit of a think about it. Come up with the word. Remember, it's the third line of our puzzle. Call me if you want to play. It's 090-1137-5555. It could get you through to me sometime very soon to play for £500. You can enter our website if you'd like to go online at 5.tv forward slash Brain Teaser. We are removing the puzzle because it's time to meet our next two contestants to play Brain Teaser. OK, Mike is our first of our two new contestants. Mike, what do you do for a living? I'm in training, uh, computer systems, teaching people how to use those. OK, what do you do for fun, Mike? Fun, mostly sport, golf, a bit of horse racing, football. But you actually, you, you own a share in some, some horse racing. A couple uh, of horses, horses that's well, right. Yeah. yeah, I love doing that. Throw a bit of money after them as well. What part of the horse do you have the share in? Uh, just about the tail, I think. The tail. You <laughs> should go with the legs. It's the big spring. Uh, good luck with the show, Mike. Uh, see who your money's on. And let's hope it's not Brian, because <laughs> Brian's your next contestant. Hello, Brian, where are you from? I'm from Kingston in Surrey. And what do you do for a living, Brian? I'm semi-retired, but I used to be a roofing contracts manager. Did the top fall in on that? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Brian and Mike, good luck. This round is Scramble. You know how it works. You've seen it before. We are going to give you a word, but we've broken it down into segments. We wish you the best of luck. If you can unscramble it, hit the buzzer. Here it comes. It's the next part. Let's play Scramble. Uh, Brian got there first. Reconciliation. Is the right answer. Mike buzzed in, but it was just a split second behind Brian. Brian. Precious. My precious. <laughs> that gag's got to work somewhere, hasn't it? Let's show you the next one. Mike. Mannered. Mannered, yeah, and you were mild. Mannered as you slapped that senseless. Well done, Mike, you get five points. Brian. Poignant. Is the right answer. Here's the next one for you both. Mike. Syndicate. Is the right answer. Let's have a look at this one. Brian. Aftermath. Is what we wanted an extra five points going to you. What's the word we're looking for? Brian. Super annuated. Is the right answer just before the buzzer went. It was a tough one, that one, but Brian got in there. Here's the next. Brian. Emissary. Is the right answer again. It's a good round for Brian. Mike, it can all change, though. Fingers by the buzzers. Mm. 
No, middleman. That's the word we were looking for. If you're playing at home, did you get that? If you didn't, let's have a look at the next one. What's the one we're looking for? Brian. Newcomer. Is the correct answer. Another one for you. Mike. Foreigner. Is the right answer. Any ideas? No, nope. dismount is what we were looking for, as a lovely lady once said to me. Well, she said it, get off, but it was close. Here's the next one. Brian. Allegorical. Is the right answer. Well done, another tough one, but Brian got there. Brian. Gravitation. Is not quite right. Chance for Mike to get another five points. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, aggravation. That's what we were looking for. It was worth, worth passing it over, but it wasn't quite right. Let's have a look at the scores at the end of that first round with our two new contestants. Mike's got 15. Brian's in the lead with 40. But it can all change sometimes before it has all changed, and we'll find out if it does when we play the next round very soon. But before we do that, we're going to get back to the puzzle that you can play watching the show right now. And remember, it's for £500, and I'm going to show you how the puzzle works. If you want to have a go at it, but you're not really sure how it's going to go, this is what you need to do. Have a look at the third line of our puzzle. Now, we left you the letter A. It's at the end of the word, so you need to leave that there. So make sure it's at the end of the word when you're writing the letters down. Take the letters from the line above, the S, the P, the A, and the T. Bring them down around that A, come up with the word I need, and if you think you've got it but you're not quite sure, have a think about this clue. Tortellini, cannelloni, and penne are all types of this. Have a think about that clue. It's the clue I gave you before the break as well, so if you've already got it written down, think about it, come up with the word we're looking for, and there's one minute left if you want to join me right here on Brain Teaser. All you need to do is pick up the phone, call 090-1137-5555, have the right answer, that will help. <laughs> Get through to me, talk to me live on the show, and if you've got that answer that fits nicely in that gap, you could be winning £500. That's what you need to do if you want to play. Remember, it's just the third line of the puzzle, the clue that I told you, Tortellini, Cannelloni and penne are all types of this. If you've got it, it's your last chance to see the puzzle because we're removing it right now. So, who goes through? Let's get back to our contestants. Let's play Brain Teaser. OK, Mike and Brian, this is Crossfire. You saw it in the first part of the show. It works exactly the same way. Now, as Brian, you're in the lead with 40 points. You're going to get the chance to go first. So, let's bring on Crossfire and let's get the computer to pick Brian's first number. OK, start at the top then. Number one for you, Brian. This North Italian city between Reno and Savannah Rivers is also a major Italian football club. Now it's passed back to Mike. This North Italian city between the Reno and Savannah Rivers is also a major Italian football club. Napoli. Worth the go. Bologna. That's what we were looking for. Mike, chance for you to catch up now. Where would you like to go on the board? I have number two, please. You're going to go for number two. To postpone or temporarily break off, particularly in court? Adjourn. Adjourn is right. Yep, well done, Mike. Picking up the points. Where would you like to go next? Um, number six, please. Number six for you. Which girl did the Kinks sing about in 1970? Let's pass back to Brian. Which girl did the Kinks sing about in 1970? No, Lola. Lola, which was a top ten hit in both the UK and the US when it was released. Pick a number for me, please, Brian. Uh, four. Number four. A Tower of Confusion. It's a little bit cryptic. Babel. Babel is right. Yeah, of course, the ba uh, biblical Tower of Babel. Brian, where would you like to go now? Nine. Number nine for you. This wild animal was much sought after as food by Asterix's friend Obelix in the Asterix the Ghoul cartoon series. Four. Four is right, yeah. Still clearing up. Still plenty to choose from, though, Brian. Uh, seven, please. Number seven. What is the name of the venomous snake native to India and Africa which rears up and spreads its neck when excited? Cobra. Cobra is right, yeah. I think we've all been there. Uh, pick a number, please, Brian. Eight. Number eight for you. What is the surname of the actor who played Detective Sergeant Roger Murtoff in the Lethal Weapon series? 
Now, there's a couple of letters in there that might help Mike. What is the surname of the actor who played Detective Sergeant uh, Roger Murtoff in the Lethal Weapon series? That's Glover. Glover is right. Yeah, Danny Glover starred opposite Mel Gibson in the films. So, still a few on there. Which one, Mike? Um, I'll take number um, 10. Number 10. What is the first name of the English novelist who wrote Brave New World in 1932? Adams? No, it's worth a go. It's passed back to you, though, Brian. What is the first name of the English novelist who wrote Brave New World in 1932? Arthur? It's neither. Aldous, Aldous Huxley is who we were looking for. Brian, three or I think you've got five still on the board there as well. Five, please. Number five. In music, this means a slow movement. Daggio is the right answer. Trust me, not just music. Uh, number three for you. It's the final one. Let's see how you do, Brian. What is the name of the group of islands in the Pacific which are administratively uh, part of Ecuador? Galapagos is the correct answer. Well done, Brian. You get those last five points. And is it enough? Let's have a look at those final scores and see who goes through to the semi-final. Mike's got himself 35. It's Brian that joins me in the semi-final with 90. <laughs> So we thank Mike for playing. Thank you. Good luck with the horses. Appreciate it. Hope it all goes well. Thank you for joining us on Brain Teaser, Mike. We'll see how you do in the semi-final. But it's time to speak to somebody else live on the phone right now. Let's go to those phone lines. Hello, who's on the line? Vicky. How you doing, Vicky? Fine, fine. Good, good. I can't believe it. Hey, are you all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, great. Good, good, good. Where are you calling him from? Uh, Lancashire. OK. Luckily, that wasn't a question. Here we go. You I ready don't. to play? Yeah. Let's have a look at the puzzle, Vicky. Now, it's the third line down. It's for £500. All you need to do is fill the gap. What's the word I'm looking for? Master. Is the right answer. Oh, God. You got £500. Oh, brilliant. What are you going to do with it, Vicky? Oh, what am I, what am I not going to do with it? <laughs> well, oh, brilliant. Remember, we're live it. and this is a family show. <laughs> well, listen, you enjoy your £500, won't oh, you? Oh, thank you. OK, thank you. well done, Vicky. Oh, thank you. You're more than welcome. Hey, if you want to be you. as excited as Vicky and you want to come on the show, give me a call. If you can solve this next puzzle, for £1,000. Vicky's been on the show, she's got 500 Rose has also got 500 at the top of the show. You could be joining them. Now, if you do want to join them, you have to come up with the word we're looking for. It's worth £1,000. Now, this time it's the fourth line down of the puzzle. Use those letters in the line above. Dirge, your D, the I, the R, the G and the E. Those letters this time need to be brought down around the letter B. The B's in the right place. Make sure it stays there. Come up with the word I need. If you want to call me and join me right here on Brain Teaser, then give me a call. It works like this. Red is the top line. Bring those letters down. By adding the I, uh, the I you can make dire. Dire is in there. Use the letters in the word dire. Bring them down. But we add the letter G. You can make dirge. Use those letters, bring them down, and by adding the letter B, you can make another word. Now, a little bit of a clue, but what something might help you is if you have a look at the bottom of the puzzle as well, brigade. Have a think about what's underneath, because as you can see, the whole it's a it's a pattern there, and follow it down and see if you can just come up with that middle word. It's the fourth line of the puzzle that you need to solve. I hope that's helped you. It's 090 5555 that could get you joining me on Brain Teaser. But in the meantime, let's see how they do. We're going to meet the semi-finalists that have made it through on Brain Teaser. OK, it's Ian and Brian. Ian, if I said at the end of the show you're going to be £3,000 better off, what are you going to do? Um, Other than scream. Well, we, we moved into a new house about a year or so ago, and we've done every room upset the kitchen, so I think right. that wants a bit of... Uh, it means no more living on takeaways, Ian, because let's be honest, when you've got a kitchen... I know, I've got one, but I still live on takeaways. Well, listen, good luck. Okay. Brian, what about you? £3,000. Uh, well, I'm going on a holiday first two weeks in June, so something towards that, and Peace. I'm tarting up my house to sell it so I can buy some thicker paint. Oh, may we, may we, Brian. <laughs> uh, well, listen, good luck to both of you. You've both made it through to the semi-final, OK? And the round is called Word Storm. Now, it works like this. I'm going to tell you how many letters are in a word. I'm going to give you the first letter, but I'll also give you the last letter. If you can come up with a word that fits in there, hit your buzzer, I'll say your name, tell me the word, and spell it for me. We'll put it into our computer. If it's accepted, you get the points. Hopefully, you'll be storming through this, and in the end, you'll be playing for £3,000. You both ready? It's the semi-final. Wish you both the best of luck. Let's play Word Storm. Here's the first one for you both. Five letters. G is the first. E is the last. Ian. Glove. G-L-O-V-E. Let's put glove into the computer. And the first ten points are going to you, Ian. It's a six-letter word. You can come up with one that starts with a C, ends in a D. Ian. Coward. C-O-W-A-R-D. It's entered into the computer. And another ten points. Close buzzing between you and Brian, though. Eight letters. I is the first, T is the last. Ian. Ignorant. I-G-N-O-R-A-N-T. 
and he has entered into our computer. Ten points again, Ian. Doing very well. Seven letters. H is the first. Y is the last. Brian. Hugely. H U G. Just no. No, not quite going to go. Okay, it's passed over to you, Ian. Remember it. H, Y, and seven letters. Humility. H U M I L I T Y. Let's put humility into our computer. It doesn't accept it. So let's show you a word that could have worked. History. That's one of the words that you might have chosen, but it's still early days in the semi-final, so nothing to worry about. Six letters. R is the first. Y is the last. Ian. Rotary. R-O-T-A-R-Y. Rotary is put in. Another ten points. Brian, come on, you can do this. Let's show you another word. It's a six-letter word. F is the first letter. R is the last. Brian. Favour. F-A-V-O-U-R. Let's put favour into our computer. Get you onto the scoreboard, Brian. Well done. Seven letters. P is the first. I'm going to give you Y as your last letter. Ian. We'll say palimony, but it's eight. OK, it's passed over to you, Brian. Do you want to have a go? Privacy. P-R-I-V-A-C-Y. Let's put that into the computer. That's another ten points. Picking up the points now, Brian. Six letters. S is the first. T is the last. Ian. Sherbet, S-H-E-R-B-E-T. You don't know how nervous I was when you started that word. Let's pass it over to you, Brian. S and a T. Secret, S-E-C-R-E-T. -E Let's put secret into our computer. Another ten points to you. There's just ten points in it between the two of you. Seven-letter word. E is the first. E is the last. Oh, the buzzer went just before you both had a chance to answer. Example. That's one of the words that you might have chosen, and it's the end of the round. So let's have a look at the scores so far in the semi-final. Brian's on 30. Ian, just in the lead with 40. It can all change, and we'll find out if it does. Ten points in it. Which one goes through to face our final pyramid? We'll find out in just a moment's time. But before we do that, we're going to get back to the puzzle that you can play. £1,000. This is what you're playing for. One thousand pounds and I'm going to show you how the puzzle works because I want you to do this and once again if you still have that bit of paper and uh, pen handy write some of these letters down possibly the line you need to have a look at is the line above the one that's missing now in the line that's missing you've got the B that's all you've got but it's the letters in the line above that you need to bring down around the B now if you're writing down the letters in dirge the D the I the R the G and the E scribble those down and have a little play around with them using that letter B that I've given you in the line below come up with the word I need. I've left the B in the right place for you, so don't move that, but use the letters in the line above. If you want to do it and you want to solve it right here on Brain Teaser, you can be playing for £1,000, and someone has to win this before the end of our show, so not long to go. 090 1137 5555. Now, as soon as you hear the recorded message, you're entered into our puzzle. Stay on the line, see if you go through to stage two, where you'll be asked to leave your details. Now, if you're not, you can try again. Doesn't matter how many times you try, you can enter at 5.tv forward slash brain teaser. It costs 50 pence every time you call, but remember, if you don't call me, you can't play and you'll kick yourself if you've got the answer and you didn't get through. We're going to a break. When we come back, one round separates one person to the pyramid. <laughs> Welcome back to Brain Teaser. You join us in the semi-final part of the show. There are just two contestants left, Ian and Brian, and look at those scores as well. Brian's on 30, Ian just in the lead with 40, 10 points in it, and one round deciding who faces the pyramid for £3,000. We're going to find out how they get on in a moment's time. But first of all, let's go back to the puzzle that you're playing, and it's your final puzzle of the day. So if you fancy getting your hands on £1,000, then you have to solve this puzzle. Now, have a look at the top line. Red, now by bringing those letters down, but adding the letter I, you make the word dire. Now, use those letters, bring them down, but we add the letter G, you can make doge. So, use those letters, bring them down, and add the letter B, which is at the beginning of the word, and I've left it in the right place for you. Now, here's a clue for you. The Golden Gate and the Sydney Harbour are examples of this. The Golden Gate and the Sydney Harbour are examples of this. There's your clue. There's the puzzle, and if you want to join me right here on Brain Teaser, I think you know the number. It's right there. Scribble it down if you want to. It's 90 1137 We're online. You can enter at 5.tv forward slash Brain Teaser. OK, the puzzle's about to go, so it's last look. It's gone. Let's see who goes through. Two contestants, one round. Let's play Brain Teaser. OK, 
Okay, Ian and Brian, it is the deciding round. It's a round called Clued Up. Now, I'm sure you know how it works, but this is what the details are. Now, a Clued Up works with uh, one subject, okay? Now, you have to come up with the answer I'm looking for. To help you, I'm going to give you four clues one at a time. Now, you can buzz in as soon as you think you know the answer I'm looking for, but if you buzz in early, give me an incorrect answer, you'll be frozen out of the game and your opponent gets a bit of breathing space and we'll get to see all the remaining clues. All depends on your confidence. Ian, how confident are you? Um, steady as a rock. Nice. Okay, Brian, you might do all right. Here we go. Let's ready for both of you. Let's play. Clued up. Here's the first subject for you both. It's a person I'm looking for. The club. EastEnders. Wellard. Robbie. Ian. Dean Gaffney. Dean Gaffney is the right answer. Well done. An extra ten points in the lead. So uh, let's have a look how you both do with this. It's a comedian. 1918 to 2002. Eccentric. Coon. Ian. Spike Milligan. The man, Mr. Milligan. Yeah, the goons would have been the final clue for you. Here's another subject for you both. Now this time we're looking for a person. Poppy. Jamie. Jules. The final clue is baby. Ian. Jamie Oliver. It's not who we're looking for. Pass it back to you, Brian. Jules Holland? No. <laughs> Daisy Boo is who we were looking for, which is Jamie Oliver's uh, baby daughter, not someone from the Flintstones. This could be easily confused. It's a leader we're looking for. Espionage. KGB. Uh, that's right. And Russia is the final clue you've got on there. No, the clues should have given you Vladimir Putin. That should have been who we were looking for. But have a look at the next subject. It's a person. 1946 to 1997, it's an Italian. Designer. Ian. Versace. Versace is who we were looking for. Celebrity fashion would have been a final clue. You didn't need it. The subject this time is a person. A commentator. Pundit. Deerstalker. Ian. John McCreary. He is the right answer again. Racing would have been a final clue. Jumping in early and it's doing him all right, isn't it? Here's another subject, Brian. Concentrate on this one. Let's have a look. It's a flower, a garden flower. White and yellow. He loves me. Ian. Daisy. Daisy is right. Chain would have been the final clue. Passed in well again. Let's take a look at those scores. Brian's got himself 30 points, but it's Ian that joins me in the final part of the show with 90 points. Well, we thank, uh, we thank Brian for playing, a top contestant. Good luck getting that extra thick paint. Good luck with the move as well. Thank you for joining us on Brain Teaser, but Ian... It's all about the confidence now, my friend. How, hands, how steady are those hands now? They're getting worse. Are they really? Well, listen, <laughs> it's for £3,000. We'll see how uh, Ian does in just a moment's time. But there's one more puzzle that you can play, and this puzzle is the final time you're going to get to see it, OK? There's one minute left. We're putting the clock on you right now. So do me a favour, come up with the word, make your way to the phone, pick it up, call me and join me on the show. This is the clue for you. Last chance. The Golden Gate and the Sydney Harbour are examples of this. The Golden Gate and the Sydney Harbour are examples of this. Please think about that clue, because like I say, the time is now ticking away, and someone has to join me on the show before the end of it, just after Ian faces the final pyramid. He's going to play for three grand. You're playing for £1,000. So, the number's right there. It's 90 37 If you want to join me right here on Brain Teaser for £1,000, pick up the phone very quickly, and it could be you talking to me at the end of the show. It's the last chance to see the puzzle. It's going, it's going, it's gone. So it's time. Ian, if you're ready to face the final pyramid. OK, Ian, first of all, let me say I wish you the very best of luck because yep. it is for £3,000. It'd be really nice for you to be our next three grand winner. Now, we're going to show you the puzzle on the screen. Here's the pyramid. Now, it works like this. 45 seconds on the clock, £100, and I will give you the top line, Ian, OK? Right. Now, when the clock starts, a letter will form in the line below. Your job is to bring the letters down from the line above and come up with the word I need. Now, it has to be the word I'm looking for. Yeah. There might be other combinations. It's got to be the word that's on my cards for you to win the money. Now, if you give me a wrong answer, I'll tell you it's wrong and I'll ask you for another answer, Ian. Right. If you continue to do so and the clock runs out, you could go back with nothing. OK. On the other hand, you can storm through this and play for £3,000. Ian, if you're ready, I'm going to give you the top line. Let's put the top line in for Ian. It's ale. A-L-E. 45 seconds, £100. Good luck, Ian. Let's start the clock. T is added. Don't need to buzzer. Just shout the word. Late. Stop the clock. Don't worry about your buzzer. Just you tell me the word. 41 seconds. You ready to go on? Yeah. OK, let's start the clock. £500 you're playing for. D.
Delta. Still got 30 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Another word. Use those letters. Still got 20 seconds. Come up with another combination. Say the words, Ian. Say them out loud. Say them clearly. Delta. Can't think of any other one. Come in. Say the words. Five seconds. Shout words at me, Ian. Delta. Delta. Ah, the clock has run out. You know what? Let's put the pyramid back on the screen for Ian. Let's have another look. And what about you at home? I can't believe how close Ian was with his answer. He went for Delta every time. Delt. Delt <sighs> would have been the word. Ian, you were so close, but it had to be the word that's on the card. It's the cruel nature of the final pyramid, isn't it? That would have been for £500. We would have added another letter into the line below for £750. We would have added the letter S. Now, what are you coming up with at home? If you're watching the show right now and you were running out of time as well, would you have shouted the word? Good. Let me tell you, the word is lasted. That's the word. Lasted. Now, another letter would have gone in for £1,500. The letter P. What would you have come up with this time? If you'd have made it to lasted, would you have come up with the puzzle for £1,500? If you did and you came up with the word stapled, well done, because you could have got uh, £1,500. But it's the last line that's always the toughie, isn't it? For £3,000, the letter E would have gone in there. What's the word? What about you at home? Have you come up with the word? Well, for £3,000, pedestal. That would have been for £3,000. So that's the way the game goes. Ian, a real pleasure to have you on the show. Thank it was you. so close, but it was a pleasure to have you. We've enjoyed you being here. But we're going to go back to the phone lines right now and speak to the final person on the show. Hello, who's on the line? Jean Hodgson. How you doing, Jean? Hi. Welcome to Brain Teaser. Are you ready to play? Yes, please. Good luck, Jean. Let's show you the puzzle. It's for £1,000. Here we go. So, Jean, it's the fourth line down. I did give you a sneaky little clue in there as well. What's the word I'm looking for, Jean? Bridge. Is the right answer. Oh, £1,000 is what you've got, Jean. Oh, my. Any ideas what you're going to spend it on? Oh, <laughs> not, right, not yet. Right now, but I'm going to be a gram great grandmother in a minute. Bless you. Well, listen, congratulations. Yeah. Enjoy the £1,000 as well, yeah? Yes, thank you. OK, well done, Jean. Right. So, well done to Jean. She's got £1,000. Well done also to Rose and Vicky. Both got themselves £500. Amazing commiserations going to Ian. He played absolutely fantastically. A pleasure to have him on the show. All the rounds were very close, but he didn't quite do it. We're going to find out how they do tomorrow. Rachel's here for four more contestants, all playing Brain Teaser. See you tomorrow. Dan, we're teasing the brain of Colombo with a double murder at 3.40. Before that, Roddy McDowell is stuck in a lift with a mix of very strange people. Stay with us for the elevator. That's next on The Five Menu.